Hey guys, in today's video, I'm going to show you how to send MIDI messages from Mac or MacBook to your iPhone, iPad, or other iOS devices. I'm also going to show you how to do this, but connecting different devices. So if you want to send MIDI messages from an iPad to another iPad, you can do that as well using this method. So this is a little example of what I'm doing. I'm using Logic to send messages to my iPhone that is running Sample Tank. Once the playhead passes bar three, you'll see it load a different preset. In this case, it's my Star Wars preset. Once it does that, once it gets to measure seven, you're going to see it loads my string preset. And then I can, you know, I can play notes on these if I want to, just using my fingers. But now I'm going to have the computer send a D sharp one. And then I'm going to have the computer send a C3. And then I'm going to have the computer just play a C major scale. See, I didn't touch any of that. The computer's sending all this information to the iPad, iPhone. So how do you do this? I use an app, it's a free app as of recording this video called MIDI Meter right here. You load that, this thing is great because what you can do is down the bottom, you can connect to MIDI devices. So I can connect to my Rolly or my iPad or any of my other MIDI devices. But right here, if you hit advertise, this is what's really cool is that you can advertise MIDI services. So if I turn that on and now in my computer, you load your audio MIDI setup, which you can find in your applications under your utilities folder, or you can also just search audio MIDI setup in and it should find that as well. And then when you're here, you want to go to Window, Show MIDI Studio, and then click the little Bluetooth icon right here, and it's going to give you your Bluetooth options. So again, it found like my Blueboard, my Rolly stuff, but now it says my iPhone is available. So now I hit Connect, and if you look on my phone, it says Connected to my iMac. So that's how you get them to talk to each other. Now they're connected. Now I can send MIDI messages to my iPhone from my computer. Okay, now I'm just gonna put it back to my GoPro camera so you know that I'm not touching anything. It's all the computer doing this. So every system's gonna be different. Whatever you're using is gonna be a little bit different. I'm gonna save this just for right now. So what I'm gonna do, this is in Logic. Every system is different, but you should be able to send MIDI messages in most of your DAWs. You're gonna create a new external MIDI so you know so you're going to click external MIDI, then you're going to say the MIDI destination. Now it has found this is my this is my MIDI controller. So if I wanted to send to that, I can do that. But I'm going to go to my iPhone Bluetooth. I'm just going to set it to all channels. If you do end up controlling multiple devices, you should get into the habit of setting them up on different channels, which I'll show you here in a little bit when I switch to the iPad. But for right now, I'm just going to set it to all. And you hit create. I'm going to draw in some empty MIDI data. So I do this with the command click tool, or you can set it right here to a pencil tool and just draw in some empty MIDI data. So now I know that sample tank, when I send a program change in live mode, which I'm in here, it loads the presets. So the way I have this programmed is strings is program change one, piano is two, synth is three, violin solo is four, so on and so forth. So let me close out of that. If I want to send a mini message, the way you do this is you hit D to open your events window over here. So I'm gonna add a program change right here on bar three. So I found that this, this one doesn't really matter actually. It's all the value. Whatever you click for that is what's gonna send the message. So right now zero is gonna load the strings. One will load the piano. Two will load the synth. And you can see it changing already on here. So I said that the strings were on program change one. It's actually on program change zero. So you have to move everything down by one. That's just how many work sometimes. So program change zero will load my strings. One will load my piano. So right here on measure three, I'm going to load the synth. Right here, I'm going to move my playhead to bar four. And I'm going to load the piano by sending program change one. Then measure five, I'm going to add another program change and load zero, which will load my string. So now when I go back to the beginning, let me actually just go to a different, anything different here. So let's go to violin, just for the sake of the video. Now when I hit play, it's not doing anything. Once it crosses right there, it loaded the synth, loaded the piano, and it loaded the strings. Make sense? So again, you're gonna have to look at every single device to see how you want to control your patches. Every single device is gonna be different, every single one. I just know that in Sample Tank, I can change my patches, patches with a program change. If I wanted to play play notes, you can also do that as well. You, you can play in the notes in your piano roll, or you can do it here. Say at measure seven, I wanna add a note, and you'll hear it actually do it. 
So that's actually coming out of here. You can see the buttons moving without me touching them. So if you wanted to do that, you can also do that. Sample tank's cool because you can push this MIDI button and it tells me control change number 77, 71. Let's do 71. So it tells me that control change 71 is my cutoff. So right now, I set a new control change, 71. Right now it's at zero. If I start bringing it up, it's gonna move the cutoff value up. Make sense? So again, you're gonna have to look into every single device, every single app to see how it works, but this is how you would do that. Pretty neat. All right, so that's basically it. So as far as how to send from one iPad to another iPad or iPhone to iPhone or whatever you wanna do, not from the computer, I actually did a whole nother video on that. I did a whole video on how to send MIDI information to your music gear and other iOS devices from another iPhone. Very similar using MIDI meter, but go ahead and click up above or down in the description down below to watch that. I go into much more depth on how to do that down there. So I hope this helped you guys out. Pretty cool little trick. If I left anything out, please leave a comment down below. Let me know if you do stuff like this. Let me know how you're using it. I use this live to control multiple different devices. I, I have an iPad that sends a MIDI message to all of my music gear, including two separate iOS devices. So it's pretty useful. If you do have questions on how to do this stuff, I have been starting to offer consulting services. You can find out more information on my website. I've been asked by a number of people to help them with their MIDI devices, with their in-ear monitors, with their wireless systems, with stuff like that. So I started to officially offer that. You can go to my website or you can look down in the description down below to find more information about that. So again, I hope this helped you guys out. Please don't forget to like and subscribe if this helped you at all. Even if you don't subscribe, just hit a like. That helps out my channel. If you want to see more information like this, don't forget to subscribe. And thank you guys for watching and I'll see you guys next time.